What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina and one of my dive master students asked me if I could make a video for him and for anybody else out there as far as the Zegel BCDs go on how do you re-thread the ripcord system for their weight system. So I've got his personal BC here and what we're going to do is we're going to pull the ripcord, we're going to drop his weights and then I'm going to make you a quick tutorial on how do you re-thread the ripcord system in the Zegel BCDs. So let's get started. All right guys, so this is the actual ripcord system and this is, Zegel really evolutionized the, um, the drop weights, if you will, or the quick release weights for an emergency. But instead of having the pull out handles, which we're all used to using today, Zegel still uses their ripcord system on their Ranger models and say on their Stiletto models and things like that. And it's basically a ripcord like you would have in a parachute, but instead of paracord, it's just basically a nylon or a plastic cord. And what it does is where his weight pouch is for his weights, there's a ripcord system that kind of holds or accordions the weight pouches together. So all his weights are held in together here at the bottom. So in an emergency, if he ever had to ditch his weights, all he's going to do is pull onto this cord here. It's going to open that weight pouch. It will also open the weight pouch over here as well, which will allow him to ditch his weights. And what does that look like? Very simply, you just simply pull on the ripcord and the weights fall out. Now the problem with it is you're not going to be able to reinstall your weights, but in an emergency that should be the, the last thing on your mind to reinstall your weights. You could still very easily open the pouch, take the weight out, adjust, put the weight back in if you needed to, but for an emergency you're going to pull it out, you're not going to worry about it. Now let's say that this thing accidentally gets pulled or even in an emergency, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how we re-thread this because it's a very simple procedure. So let me take this BC off and I'll show you how it's done. All right guys, so if we take a closer look, we can see exactly how the rip cord system works. It's actually two cords. You got a long cord and a short cord. And basically what we're gonna do is thread them back through because we're gonna need these cords here in a minute to start the threading process. So I'm gonna get both of these pulled through. Okay, you'll notice that the short cord is meant for the left side. The long cord is actually threaded all the way through to the right side. And if we pull it out here, you'll see that cord there. If this ever comes completely unthreaded, it's not that big a deal because all you gotta do is just simply thread it back through the little sleeve that's in there. Now what actually holds these accordion pockets together are these um, little pieces of paracord here, or little pieces of string, and you'll notice it's kind of accordion together and you have a grommet where that's gonna pop through. And if you was to accordion them together and then run your string through it or your rip cord, that's what actually holds it together. And you're not gonna be able to break this. This is basically the same type of twine that say on a weed eater or something like that. And it takes a lot of force to actually break it. So with that being said, how do we do this? I'm gonna show you two different methods. The first method is, is you're just gonna take that little string and as you accordion the pockets together, you're gonna to pull the string through and you're gonna go through that last grommet and then you're gonna take your little rip cord here and you're gonna thread it through. Okay, it's a real simple process. It's not very difficult at all. And we're gonna repeat that one more time. So I'm gonna start with an open string like this. I'm gonna find my first grommet, stick it through. My next grommet, stick it through. And then finally, my last grommet, stick it through as well. Take my little rip cord and pull it through. Just like that. Real simple. And you can go all the way around doing the same thing. Now, if you're fumbling with it, maybe if you got little hands like I do and it's hard to control, let me show you another little easy method to do. One of the things that I do is I'm gonna take the rip cord and I'm gonna stick it through the grommet. I'm gonna stick it through the next grommet, like that. I'm gonna stick it through the last grommet. And then I'm gonna stick it through the string. And then I'm just gonna simply thread back up through the grommets like so, and then when I pull out, it's gonna pull the string through and actually grommet that pocket together. What does that look like one more time? I'm gonna thread through the grommet. I'm gonna find the next grommet. And then find the final grommet, thread it through. Then I'm gonna thread through the string and thread back up through the grommets. Like so. Pull through and I've essentially closed that pocket back off. 
Now with this excess here, a couple of things that you can do if you're on the left side, you can either thread it through the sleeve that leads over to the other side, and that gets rid of that excess. You never wanna bind it up or tie it up in any way because that's actually gonna prevent you from ever ditching weights if you need to. And all you gotta do here is just simply take your rip cord, Velcro it back down, it's back into position. Now, on the other side, I'm actually gonna film my student doing it, make sure that he learned how to do it for himself, and I'm gonna let him do both methods. So he's gonna actually go up through the grommets, accordion it, and then pull through with the rip cord, and then I'm gonna make him on the next one go down through the grommets and thread it back. So I'm actually gonna take the camera, and I'm gonna let my student go from here. So just thread it up through each grommet, and it'll kind of fold itself in place. It's from the manufacturer that way, so it's very easy. You just kind of accordion it, fold it together, push it up through the grommets, and then once you get through the last one, and you can see he's got a little bit larger hand here, so it might be a little difficult for him to get into the small top places, and so that's why we have a, a secondary method to do as well. Now he's going to take that string, he's going to thread it through, just pull it all the way through till it pops. Now this time, I want you to push your rip cord through the grommets and go all the way through each one. And then once you get all the way through, you're gonna come down to the string. You're gonna thread through the string and then back up through the grommets. And once again, it all depends on your hand size, which one's easier for you. Uh, I, I don't really find, now you wanna make sure you don't get it twisted here. So if you come through that side, you're gonna to go to the left of it, just like that. Cause you don't wanna get a twist in there, it will actually lock it into place. Now for me, I don't have trouble doing either method, it's just kinda of how I feel. Now right here, I would take this and go through this little sleeve right there, very good. That way it's gonna prevent any snags when you're in the water as well. Okay, there you go. And like I said, from the manufacturer, they're already according, it's made in this form, so it should be easy enough lining up the grommets in the proper order where you don't have any difficulties whatsoever. And go through your last little sleeve there. And it looks like your other one's just about all the way through. Just pull it through that last one. There you go. And now on this end, if you don't have enough room here at the sleeve to thread this through here, which will come basically out the side, you don't want to do that, I curl it up inside the cummerbund pocket there. Just kind of curl it up through there, push it up in. You never want to tie it, there you go. Perfect, just like that. Now in an emergency, all he's got to do is just come over here to his rip cord, pull the rip cord, his weights are ditched, and very easily he can reattach everything, get his weight pouches back in order. Um, like I said, Zegel kind of revolutionized the whole weight integrated systems. They did not invent it, but they did revolutionize it. Nowadays we have the standard pullout uh, weight pouch, say on a back inflate or a jacket style system like that. So it makes it very easy to adjust. On these, if this is the type of system you dive, just remember if you ever need to adjust weights, you're actually gonna have to unzip, pull it out, adjust, and put it back in. So it may be a little difficult, but it's still a surefire way to ditch weights in an emergency, and it's not a painstaking um, system as far as putting it in. It's a very simple, easy method. You can either push the strings up through it, pull your rip cord through, or push your rip cord through the grommets, go back to the strings and then reattach that ways. But guys, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you understand it's not a difficult system if you understand how it is. It's, it's actually very simple. If you dive a Zegel system, I would definitely encourage you to immediately pull that rip cord right now and practice putting this back in simply because if this is the system you're gonna be using, you need to know how to use it and know how to be safe with it as well. And you don't wanna pay your dive shop to have to go in and do it for yourself. So watch this video again, pause it if you need to, learn how to do this if you dive a Zegel system. But guys, if you like this video, you found it helpful, definitely smash that like button for me. Definitely share it as well. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as best and as quickly as I can as well. If you got any suggestions for a future video, please put it down in the comment section below. If it's a manufacturer that we don't sell 
sale. Please let me know if it's something you need to send me. I'll be happy to teach you how to use it or go over it with you as well. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.